Hey YouTube, welcome back to Rev Kicks. Today we have another running shoe review comparison. It's the Nike Pegasus 40 against the New Balance 1080 V12s with the fresh foam. Before I move on, I'd like to really suggest that if you enjoy this content, enjoy this channel, please consider liking and subscribing. It really does help. So let's get at it. I was really excited to see that the Pegasus 40 released recently. I think it was last week, maybe. Uh, because I, I mean, I thought it was going to come out in the summertime based on a lot of the online press, right? So when I saw it, there was an exclusive for members. Went ahead and got it ordered. Um, I like this color, so I had to get it in wide, uh, but it fits fine. Um, but yeah, so I, and the reason I was excited about it mainly is I was looking to see if it's going to find a shoe to replace my, my go-to dailies which are the uh, the New Balance 1080 V12s. I mean, these are a really good shoe. I, mean, I grabbed this shoe more than any other shoe. As you can see, it's really used. I take it on my business trips um, for running in the mornings or in the evenings. Yeah, so um, when this Pegasus 40 came out, this sounded like I fit the bill. Had the React midsole, React foam there. Uh, and I really do like React. I used to run a lot in the previous Infinity Reacts, in the early models. Um, this had uh, the nicer fly knit compared to some of the, the harder materials Nike's been using lately. Um, and it has a couple air air sole units, as you can see with the air zoom, uh, in both the, the forefoot and the heel. So anyway, brought it in and, you know, bought it and figured I'd, I'd test it out. So if you want to find out what I said at the very end, which one I'm going to pick, please stick around and, and watch the whole video, please. So let's start off with the materials, right? Um, uh, the materials on here, on the the Pegasus, are, are the fly knit soft materials, very comparable to the the New Balance 1080s. I would say the New Balance is slightly softer and pliable. You see, it springs. It's really the stretch. Um, you can see that there's a bit of a curve to the New Balance end and the, the material does flex with it, right? So I think it's actually pulling up on that a little bit, and that's how it's designed. Whereas the Nike Pegasus 40 is, it's soft material, but it's not being stretched out. It's not as stretchy. So I think material-wise, upper-wise, I would give, give it to the New Balance, in my opinion. So in terms of laces, so you can see with the Pegasus 40, the lace tab is at the top here to hold the laces down and keep the tongue up. Um, I feel like it gets in the way a little bit. It's just me though. Lace-wise, the laces are just normal, kind of standard laces on the Pegasus. As you can see, a little bit of give, but standard laces. Whereas for the New Balance, I don't even I think it even has a lace holder here. Um, but the laces are, are have elast elasticity to them. You can see it pulls. So that does help with the flex. When you're running, you tie these down, it'll still flex while you're running, which is adds to the comfort. Just probably like go to these all the time. Um, cushion wise, the React uh, feels firmer than Zoom X. Um, not bad firm, but just you, I could feel the difference, and it's. Likely because with Zoomax, you notice that the heel or the foam density make it a lot thicker. Those platforms sit up pretty high, etc. So they added the, the air units in the front and back to help out with that more density, I guess. But you know, in my running tests, I tell you, this, this, try a combination of shape and material. The fresh foam feels great. My, when, I, when I hit the mid, mid foot strike, Right around here, I can feel good cushioning going in, right? Compared to, to the Nikes, as you can see, it's it's flat across the bottom, and this is curved. So I don't like that curve when I'm striking. You can really, it just contacts at, you know, the tangent here and then cushions in, it's really good. So to me, in terms of cushioning and, and feel, um, I'd give that to the New Balance today. Um, so, and stability wise, they feel, both feel very stable. Can't complain about stability on either shoe. 
and I, like I said, the, you know, really both are comparable. I believe the fresh foams are a bit, bit more in price. So if that's a concern of yours, perhaps the, the Pegasus 40 would be a better choice. Some of the cons I've, I've heard and can agree with is the wear on the outsole for the New Balance, it goes by quick, right? You can see it's it's very really balding on this side where I strike and all over here. So uh, Nike's generally wear better, might be more durable. Again, I think this shoe is built for, for more miles. Um, and this one's built for for comfort, if anything I could tell, but really it's not overly comfortable, I mean, I say overly comfortable, but overly soft, comparable like the Invisible 3s, but to me, this is a shoe I, I love wear running in, so. Anyway, um, please leave me leave me some comments, some questions. I, I do try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Again, like and subscribe if you really enjoy this content. It helps the channel. And uh, as always, I appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Enjoy your run and be safe.